Hi, this is Glenda. Um, I thought I'd just do a little card share and uh, product purchase. I don't normally particularly show the things I've bought, but I was unexpectedly pleased by these couple of things. Um, I needed some more uh, adhesive, so I had to put a Stampin' Up! order in because I really like Tombow Extreme, and for those who don't know, it's the same as Stampin' Up! Fast Fuse. And the Stampin' Up! refill holds twice as much, 20 metres, I believe it says, um, compared to the Tombow Extreme refill, which I think is about 10. And they're about the same price, so no brainer, it's cheaper to buy the Stampin' Up! refill. Um, and it's the same adhesive, so that's why I was putting my order in. So to make it a bit more worthwhile, I popped in the ruffled, um, was it ruffled dynamic textured impressions embossing folder? It's a mouthful. It's a ruffled embossing folder, um, but it's one of the three D sort of ones. Um, so the first thing when I saw this in the catalog, the first thing I thought of was pink frilly and um, yeah and I thought that's what I'd sort of mostly use it for that it'd be like frills of fabric so the first thing I embossed was some dark card and it looked like roof tiles so I was really pleased that it was a bit more versatile um, then I tried um, in, I put a bit of a Versamark on it and some copper embossing powder and it's just a pattern that's fine I did it in blue and it looks like waves um, and then of course the the ruffles as well so I was quite pleased that it was so versatile as I just said um, it was a little bit trickier the other 3d embossing folders I've got are not quite as thick and I have a crossover machine and um, the widest setting on my crossover would not uh, it wouldn't go through but if I took out the plate altogether and had it on setting of one, which is like nothing else uses such a closed setting, then it did go through. It possibly could need a little bit extra pressure um, to get a really deep impression. But that's it. It is a different thickness than all the other 3D ones on the market, um, which I was surprised about because I've got a couple of different brands and they're just not quite as thick as that. Um, so that was the embossing folder. Then the other thing I got was their copper trim and I mean it just looks like a copper trim that you can you know make bows with and when I googled it most people had just used it for bows but what it is it's like the lace wire mesh that I played with a few years ago and it is actually stretchable um, if I put something a bit lighter behind it perhaps um, and it's a tube so that you can actually put things up the middle of it so it's, it's very, very like the uh, lace wire mesh. Um, I wouldn't say it's identical um, because it didn't, like it is still wire, but it didn't have all the same um, qualities, which I'll explain sort of in a second. Mostly it worked the same. So I did a couple of things that I had sort of tried before, but uh, hopefully it'll show up. I've got some here um, sort of to give a little nest look. I've pulled it all out wide and um, so it's sort of like nesty material and on this one I've put a die cut up the middle of it um, which really stretches it out and gives it a different look. This one of course I've just used it uh, as most people have just as a, a thread um, and this one I made a butterfly. I showed how to do these in a video about four years ago or something, so I will put a link to that. When I say it's slightly different, with the wire mesh, what I did at the edges was simply be able to fold it over and being wire it sort of held its shape and I put a tiny bit of glossy accents and it was all good. This didn't hold quite the same. I put some stickles on it to help hold it. Well, it wasn't stickles, it was the... Nouveau glitter accents um, just to sort of help hold the edges so it didn't work identically but you can then you know you can make flowers butterflies dragonflies you've got all this opportunity you can put beads in it um, make jewelry make um, 
tassels, whatever. It's possibly a little bit dear compared to a ribbon, but compared to the lace wire mesh that I got earlier, it was quite cheap. Um, in Australia it was $10 and it has uh, five yards, approximately. Um, so anyway, that was something fun to work with. They seem to only have the copper colour that I could find on the site. Um, but, so that was my little purchase. Um, so that's my share for today and thanks for watching.